Good morning, FS Club. Welcome back, channel. Welcome to today's new mods. New mods and updates for all platforms for today. We got the Micro Polish map, the Load Trailer and Bale Trailer, the Farm at CV6, the John Deere Dealer Sign, and then also updates. We got the Case IH Tiger Mate 255 Field Cultivator, the Lindner BF450, the New Holland TL Series Pack Brazil, the Indoor British Cow Barn, and Gold Crest Valley Chicken Pen. Now for new mods and updates on PC only, we got the Lizard UTV90, the Salad Greenhouse Package, and Composter. Roll it intro. Let's get into these new mods. Welcome back. It's okay, so the first new mod to go over, guys, is a new map on all platforms. This is the Micro Polish map made by Powelk 20. Let's see. The map has a Polish atmosphere, two farms, sheep and chicken, 35 fields, three meadows, a biogas plant, four selling points, one sawmill, original environment, lime and gas station, water triggers and more so there is the micro polish map for all platforms okay now on to the next new mod for today which is for all platforms this is the low trailer and bale trailer from happy mole but anyways we got the low trailer right here which can hold up to 2500 liters five thousand dollars you can change the main color to pretty much any color let's see design color to any colors put that as yellow right there and then you got the rim color which can be any color too Actually, that looks really good. Wow. And uh, we got wheel set up. We got standard. You got narrow and the narrow and narrow. So three narrows right there. So that is the low trailer. But if we go over to the bailing technology section, you have the bail trailer, which is $4,000. Uh, let's see options on this one. You change the main color to uh, design color. Same thing. And then rim color. Same thing. I like how it looks like that. Then you got the wheel set up. You got standard. You got narrow tires, narrow tires, narrow tires, and then back to standard. So you got the three sets of narrows on that one too. Okay, now on to the next one. After that one we have is the Farmit CV6 from JZD Verrikey. And this is a new mod for all platforms. Let's see, it is 4,800. No options on this one. This is 100 horsepower that is required, 5.9 working meters. And what this does is it actually puts one level of fertilization after you seed your field. Uh, so there is that one right there. Okay, now on to the next one, which is the Lizard UTV90 from Tommy. This is a new mod for PC only. Let's see, it is 90 horsepower, 49 miles an hour is the top speed, 42 liters. It is $19,500. Let's see, you change the rim color to any color, so let's just put yellow right there. Got main color, any color, which changes the cab and all that. We got design, we got standard lights, we got plus lights, and you got back to standard. Attachers, you got standard attacher. You've got trailer hitch and then back to standard. Then LED beacon lights, you got LED rotating, LED flash, and then back to rotating. Okay, let's actually take a look at this in game. Okay, so here we are. I actually like this thing. Wow, it looks really nice, actually. Okay, so let me actually put up the help menu just in case I might need it. So there is us entering, no animations. But here is the interior, really nice interior. Uh, let's see, what does this do? Okay, so you can actually open up that one side with the L, B, and right stick. Uh, let's see, what does the up and down? Okay, so that one can open up right there. And then the other side can open up. So the whole thing can open up. Let me go ahead and close it real quick. Close that one. Close that one. And close that one. It's actually pretty easy to open and close. Okay, then we also got fasten tension belts. So it's got tension belts. You've got a horn. And then that is it right there. Now, of course, we got the beacon, which is not actually turning on. Maybe you need power. Anyways, lights. We got one set of lights, two set of lights, two sets of lights on that. Okay, I'm going to be quiet so you guys can actually hear the engine. Okay, wow. Um, hold on a second. Yes, you do need the engine on to turn on that beacon. Okay, but something I did notice is whenever you actually turn the engine on, watch this. How cool is that? That is cool. 
And then, of course, the beacon comes on. See, you actually have to have the engine on for the beacon to come on. Then you got lights on here. I actually like this thing. Wow. Okay, top speed is 49 miles an hour. It's a really nice mod. And then break, 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 break. Okay, so that right there, guys, with the Lizard UTV90. Love it. Okay, now on to the next one, which is our first placeable for today, and that is the John Deere dealer sign from Hungry Cow Design. Uh, let's see, this is a new mod for all platforms. $1,000 on this. So let's see, $5 a day. So let's go ahead and just place this real quick. So there we go, a nice John Deere dealership sign. At least it's not a case. That's all I got to say right there. That looks amazing. Of course, Hungry Cow is the one that's making, uh, for, I forget what it's called. I think it's called Sugar Creek Farms. Uh, and it has an amazing, amazing dealership, John Deere dealership on that, which I cannot wait for that map right there. Okay, but anyways, there is the John Deere dealer sign. Okay, we got one more placeable to go over. Let's go over it real quick. Okay, now on to the next and last mod for today. This is the Salad Greenhouse Package from Zodal Zocket right here. This is a new mod for PC only. And what does this do? It adds actually greenhouses to the game. So it does require, of course, a bunch of mods plus global companies for this. Uh, it's $75,000 right here. And we can go over here, greenhouse right there. So let's go ahead and place that down real quick. I need to get more into factories on basically PC. But as you guys can see right here, we got some storage right there. Really nice models. Wow. Okay, show display. What does that do? Hide display, show display. Okay, what is it? Oh, okay. So here we go right here. So this actually needs, let's see, it needs wooden boxes, cover material, compost, water, herbicide, liquid fertilizer, seeds, and the outputs are lettuce and biomaterial. So that's pretty cool right there. And then of course you'll see, uh, well, stuff growing. Open gate, you got an open gate right there. Uh, does the doors open? Yes, they do. Wow, that's a nice greenhouse. Might actually have to play around with these on our save game on Lone Oak, actually. Yeah, these really nice. Okay, is there lights on here? Might come on automatically at night. And then we got another little storage area right there. And then something right over there. So this right here, guys, is the Salad Greenhouse Package. Okay, and now for update for today, the first update we got for today, which is for all platforms, is the Case IH Tiger Made 255 Field Cultivator. What did this change on this one? Let's see, fixed slip problem. And then after that one, we have an update for the Lindner BF450, which is for all platforms. Let's see the update on this one. Added rim color configuration and new honk. And then the next one after that one we have is for the new Holland TL Series Pack Brazil. The update on this one, optional models 2003, 2005, 2010, 2012, 2014, wheel options, weight options, optional 4x2 and 4x4, and cab options. And then after that one, we have an update to the indoor British cow barn. What are the changes on this one? And it's done to warning sign of animal buy trigger, and then it's done to foundation of the building to prevent ground deformation when placing. And then after that one, we have the Gold Crest Valley Chicken Pen. What did this change on this one? Made snow, one mesh, and also optimized I3D and XML. And then now the last one we have is the Composter, which is a PC only update, but the change log on this one, fixed a bug with the fill planes, added fade in displays, added fade in fill information, added fade in illuminated production information panel, and that is it on that one. Okay, so that right there was the new mods and updates for today. Let me know down in the comment section below, guys, which one was your favorite mod. I'm probably going to have to say probably the Lizard UTV or the Salad Greenhouse Package. So let me know which one is your guys' favorite. Well, anyways, today's schedule after this video, of course, will come out FS Daily News. And then tonight at 8.30 p.m., 8.30 p.m., remember, we're going to be running a little bit late tonight because, well, I got to watch the first game of the regular season for football. Uh, so 8.30, we'll be back on Lone Oak. So hopefully you guys do join us for that. Remember, if you guys did like this video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you have a sudden, make sure you guys do like always. Have an amazing day, farmers. Peace. Man, I always had stories about the city line. And the crazy nights I figure I should probably give it a try Baby, check it out See what it's all about